Hey everybody, it's Mike and welcome to Chip Damage. And tonight we have a very special unboxing. We will be unboxing first four figure statue of Vicious from Cowboy Bebop. Yes, uh, I've been waiting for this statue for quite a while. I ordered this, pre-ordered this well over a year ago. And if you've seen my prior videos, you guys know I'm a big Cowboy Bebop fan. You know that I have the uh, quartet. I have Spike, Faye, Jet, Ed and I, all, uh, all their first four releases. And they've all been wonderful and progressively getting better as they've been released. So when I saw that they were doing one more, one more character, they were doing Vicious, uh, kind of the main villain of Cowboy Bebop and one of my favorite anime villains of all time, I needed to have it. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Let's unbox this big boy and see if it was worth the wait. I have a feeling that it was. And of course, just to get out of the way, if you like what you're about to see, please like and subscribe. So yeah, um, Vicious, uh, what can I really say? One of the most badass and iconic anime villains of all time despite only appearing in five episodes of a 26 episode anime uh vicious has always left an, uh, a big impact on fans as you know spike's rival kind of the main enemy of cowboy bebop and uh this figure looks like it's gonna live up to the uh at least the scale of the prior ones so uh to begin there were two versions of this released by first four figures a well-known statue maker of video game and anime characters there was the standard edition which was 440 US dollars and came in an edition size of 500, as in 500 were made. Uh, and then there was what you're seeing here, the exclusive website version, which was 460 US dollars. And in uh, a strange term of events is actually more common than the standard version. There were 750 of these made. And if you're unaware, first four individually numbers each one of their releases. It looks like I got number 251, as you can see on the back there for Vicious, and yeah, this is a nice box. I mean, you see what you're gonna get right on the uh, front of the box right there. You can see Vic Vicious pose on this side, and you can see the back of uh, one of the poses on the back there where he's holding a dagger, and you can see the other side here, lovely box. Uh, there are some snippets of the Cowboy Bebop anime in the background throughout this, uh, of the credits, of the scenes, uh, really lovely box. And uh, I'm gonna actually have to Put this on its side in order to begin this unboxing and to uh, just to state what the difference between the standard and the regular editions were um, like with the prior releases that first four has done uh, for Cowboy Bebop it is what the characters are holding in their arms um, for this edition in particular as you saw Vicious is holding his katana on his uh, side on his arm there that is actually the an exclusive edition but um, exclusive as it were uh, the normal edition only comes with him holding the dagger behind his back and that just seems strange to me it seems like vicious kind of needs his katana it's kind of like you know so associated with him so i'm glad that they decided to uh, release an edition with the katana because you got to have it but it's nice to have options nonetheless so there was no tape on the front of that uh this is a, a original unboxing so that just popped open pretty easy comes with a little um ad for some mobile stuff right there uh, for like the first form mobile app and each one well let's get this all out first luckily first four puts a handle on the styrofoam casing of most of their figures so usually it's not too hard to pull out of the outer casing but it is pretty secure so i'm gonna do this slowly and it's coming with a little resistance but it's not too bad all right let's flip this i think it's easier to do it on that side. Let's see. Yeah, sizable. This has definitely got some good weight to it. There we go. Outer box removed. And let's get a look at the styrofoam because uh, first floor is very big on their Q quality control. They're on the QC. So every one of them has a um, individually signed tag on the seal there. This is how all the releases have been to show like the inspector. Looks like mine was inspected by Mr. Mm, a little hard to say, John Loom. <laughs> so let's see if John Loom did a good idea. But before we open up the styrofoam, they go all out on these. A little hard to see perhaps on camera. But as you can see there, there is an embossed uh, kind of image of Vicious right into the styrofoam, which is very, very cool. Um, leave that right there. Every first four figure also comes with a registration card, which is what I'm peeling off the back right here. 
I'm going to cover up the number uh, because you can register these for bonuses on their website, kind of like a certificate of authenticity. These are very cool. Uh, they, they have the consistency of a credit card. Uh, I'll take it out of its plastic sleeve to give you a better look. It is well secured in tape, so give me a moment. Yeah, first four is definitely booming for a reason. They are great. We said there's a number on here that I'm covering up that you could register to get like a discount on your next purchase. It's also, like I said, just a uh, certificate of authenticity, these little credit cards, which are normally, uh, which was posted right here on the front of the styrofoam along with the embossed logo and what you're getting, which is vicious. So yeah, this is gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna put that over here. Let's get this big boy on his side. slowly open this up with a box cutter because there is a ring of tape sealing the two halves of the styrofoam. I'm going to try not to uh, I like to kind of keep everything intact when I unbox stuff like that steel that signature I actually just see if I can remove it with that ah, forget it looks like that's in there good I'm not going to be able to save that and yeah guys like this may be my last Cowboy Bebop figure from First Four. I'm just running out of space, and they kind of have the characters that I want out there. They did announce one right before this launched um, of a, a smaller set of statues of Vicious Fighting Spike in their climactic battle from Cowboy Bebop. I'm actually going to skip out on that one because I kind of already have enough Bebop stuff from First Four. And uh, it's out of scale with the others. Unless they release like another character, perhaps like a Julia, I think this will be my final purchase. But I've loved these statues so, so much. And I'm glad to see Cowboy Bebop getting the love that it deserves even 20 years after its launch. Oh, all right. And as we slowly open this, just to be safe. Looks like I may have opened this up in a bizarre way, but here we go. All right, guys, we got a lot to deal with here. Uh, this is a lot of styrofoam and some things I don't want to lift vertically, but let's get started, shall we? All right, I'm going to stand for this. This, this. this demands it. Let's get what is definitely the base out of the way first. So everything is pretty wrapped in plastic, but we can tell what it is. Only removing the plastic and the sheath. We have the base, which says Cowboy Bebop on it right there. We have Vicious, uh, that is written in marker right there, 251. And just like with the prior releases, oh, this is cool. In purple, all around, are little scenes from the anime displaying Vicious, which I just, I adore that little feature. And we're gonna put that base right there, just to keep it safe. And then let's get that main body, shall we? Oh, this is gonna be a big boy. Oh, this looks cool. Before I even put everything together, guys, you can clearly see that it is a slate. It's like a matte black. The gold trim really pops here. This is going to be cool. This is going to be very nice. So let's see if I can clearly secure that without much trouble. There's only one foot spike into the base, so not too much to work with there, which is good in my eyes. So, all right, that's pretty secure in there. Now, the important part is head. All right, let's see that facial sculpt. Oh, it looks great. He looks haggard and tired. The hair, everything came undamaged. You can get a good look at his head, his disembodied head right there. Uh, looking just how vicious looks. I mean, I think he's supposed to be 27 in this, uh, in, in the anime, the same age as Spike. It looks like he's 49 with like a lot of miles. Um, but yeah, let's pop that head in, secure that. That is a nice, easy fit. Don't think it's, it's magnetized in. So if I was to flip that upside down, which you really shouldn't, it wouldn't move. But we have two arm options as here. But you know what? Let's let's come to that in a little bit. Very safely secured inside of this under a lot of tape, a lot of cushioning. And I want to be very delicate here. So please forgive me for taking my time. As vicious as bird. It's like a, all right. Let's see what we got here. We have Vicious's bird, sands his head feathers, which I will try to find in this menagerie of stuff. 
Let's see, where are those head feathers? There are many crevices, which I will show later, inside of this. It must be here somewhere. Well, for the time being, let's see how we can get the bird on Vicious's shoulder. I'd feel safer with that because this has a, a nice quality to it, as you can see. But it does feel somewhat brittle in certain areas, like the beak and feet. Not that they would break easily. And the pegs to hold them are right there. So let's see if we can insert those quickly. On Vicious's shoulders, there are two peg holes. Let's see how easy they made this. This might not be the easiest thing in the world to connect. Oh, but it's not too difficult. They made it somewhat easy. Just want to go very slowly for the legs and we're in. And yet again, I believe it's slightly magnetized. So let's see what else is in here. Ah, I believe I found those head feathers. I said there's a lot of tape in these guys. And as I opened it and I pulled the uh, box apart, some of them went, some pieces went to the left side. Some of them went to the right side. Just be wary of that. So you got the three head feathers for Vicious's, Vicious's bird. That's a fun thing to say. I don't know what, it's like a mix between a condor, a crow, and a, uh, a raven. And I believe, looking at the box, the head feathers tilt forward. So this would be the right way to do it. Just like Vicious just has a bird. He looks like a guy who would have a giant bird just to keep him company. It's never really brought up. It blows up in the first appearance of when he kills Mao Yenrai. And then we have our options, guys, but uh, of arms. But before we do that, let's get everything out of the way and show you what I was dealing with. As you can see, there was a lot of crevices in here. Um, and when I opened it up, some things went one side, some things went to the other. So it was very careful if you were to purchase this or any statue when opening it. Because uh, the head was, which was in this, um, which would have been in this pocket, just kind of like came to the other side. So be very careful when opening this. Let's put this styrofoam away for now. And put our boy center. Before we get it falling, let's see. Arm option one, which would be the basic edition arm right here if you were to get the standard edition comes with him holding a dagger which he does throw at spike in the final battle but he's not really like known for having a dagger <laughs> but let's connect that on and magnetized yet again love it nice smooth but if I, I have to give this a really really good pull to get it out geez so yeah there we go guys there's vicious in his basic standard form bird and dagger and all very nice let's do a nice do a do a spin for your audience there vicious this is a Good weight to it. I, I don't have a scale on hand, but it's got a good solid weight to it. So make sure you secure that. Of course, we got to measure them from uh, the base to the highest point, which would be the bird's bird's uh, hairdo there, which is 22 inches. Yeah, about just, a, yeah, almost exactly 22 inches from the bottom of the base to the tip of the feather. Almost two feet, two inches short of two feet. Uh, so yeah, we got that, but said we have the exclusive edition. So let's check out that exclusive edition arm. The dagger arm is nice. However, what is Vicious known for? What was one of his motifs his, that uh, made him stick out in the futuristic space world is, is his katana, which whew, this is nice, guys. This looks really nice. As you can see, the sculpt, uh, that katana, the hilt, that looks Fantastic. I don't know how this can be the, de the default, the little accoutrement, that little um, seal there on the katana. So cool. It really made the character stick. Oh, yeah, that's the way. This is how I'll be posing them. This is how. Look at that. That looks so much more right. So, yeah, guys, here we go. The final Vicious limited edition uh, website, first four exclusive uh, Vicious with Katana and his crow. And I'll bring that a little closer to the camera for you. But uh, yeah, as you can see, like his tie, his 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 vest underneath, like he's just, this is, oof, this may be my favorite one. The the first four uh, Bebop statues have all been pretty wonderful. Um, but I definitely noticed a slight increase in quality as time went on. Spike, the first one that came out was fantastic. Um, and that, but you know, there was room for improvement for sure. Uh, and then coming out with uh, Jet, which was great, with definitely more detail to it. Faye, even more so, especially with her base being as good as it was. But then Ed and Ayn were just fantastic. And this Vicious statue, as simple as it is, as simple as the pose kind of is, 
the, there's a few things with anime statues that you got to get just right. And I think that's the face number one in the proportions. Um, and the face is just nailed on this. Sometimes uh, sculptors have a, a bad habit of uh, making anime characters look like Western cartoon characters. And I just, I can't stand that. There's a certain proportion of eyes to nose to face, the triangular nose. Um, and sometimes it's hard for artists to hit, but this this is just great. I love the detail on the bird's feathers. It is, it is rather beautiful, um, I must say, that bird. Uh, every feather has a little bit of detail to it. It feels good. That doesn't feel like this can fall off too easily. Like I'm giving this a good pull. That's not coming off. Everything is magnetized, which is always smart where there's a groove that's also magnetized. Um, yeah, guys, this is the pose. The other arm is cool and all. And if you can get the standard edition, I suggest that you got to have the katana. And that's it, guys. That's, that's vicious from first four figures. Um, like I said, that's about 22 inches from head to crest tall to the zenith of the statue. Uh, and it's got a good amount of weight. There's, there's not much else to say other than I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, like I said, this may be my last first four statue for a while, but who knows? Maybe they'll blow me out of the water. If they come out with a Julia, I think I might just have to bite. But right now, I think I have my favorite anime villain, or at least one of them, in one of the best statue formats out there. I love first four figures. I love the stuff they've been pumping out. You've seen... Hopefully you've seen some of my prior videos, unboxings. Uh, check out their stuff. Always keep an eye on them. They uh, they have yet to disappoint. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> this is Vicious uh, from First Four Figures. My name is Mike, and this has uh, been Chip Damage. And if you've liked what you've seen, of course, please like and subscribe. Please take care of yourself.